Hey guys, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It, and I am here with a embroidery hoop ornament tutorial. So I have my four inch embroidery hoops, I have some different fabrics that I got at Hobby Lobby, and then I have a stamp set. The stamp set, the ink pad, and the acrylic block like this that you need for the clear stamps are all linked on my blog. So check out the link in the description below. So I have some muslin strips. This is also a fabric from Hobby Lobby. And I've cut it into, it's about one inch thick. And I just did it long enough that it could go over here, across the embroidery hoop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my strips. I'm gonna start by stamping words on them. So I'm gonna pick out four words that I wanna use. I'm gonna get my stamps. So the first word I'm gonna do is Noel. So I'm going to put my stamps on my acrylic block. If you haven't used clear stamps, this is how they work. If they, they're cling stamps, and so they cling to this acrylic block, and you just kind of smush them on there. This is my favorite set. They're sold out a lot. They're from Michaels. They're sold out often, but you can do the order online pickup in the store. And usually, most people that I've talked to have been able to find a store close by that has them. But definitely do the order online pickup in the store because you don't want to think that they're there and drive all the way there and that they can't find them because that's happened to me several times. I actually went ahead and bought several sets of these stamps. So you can see there, it says Noel. It looks pretty straight. So I'm going to get my ink pad right here. I'm going to scoot my stamps over. Oh, too much stuff. Okay. And you're going to dab the stamps on the ink pad. And I always check to make sure sometimes there's a little bit of ink like on the edge where you don't want to show up. That's not the actual letter. So I wipe it off. I have a paper towel over here I keep handy. And now you're going to stamp it in the center of your strip. And you're going to stamp it down. Push it real hard. There we go. Noel, my first one is done. I'm going to move it to the side. I'm going to take my letters off and I'm going to set them over here. And I'm going to do the next word, Merry. Like Merry Christmas. M-E. Now, when you have double letters, if you only have one stamp set, which I'm going to pretend like I do, because that's probably what you'll have, and you need two R's, but the set only comes with one R, I'm just going to stamp two different times. So I'm going to stamp once with M-E-R, and then I'm going to stamp again with the R-Y. If you had two sets, obviously you could just do the whole word at one time. And these little acrylic blocks come in different sizes. This is the smaller, but the set I have comes with multiple sizes in the set. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the M-E-R, push it real hard, and I'm going to leave the R on there because I still need it. And I'm going to get up here a Y. And so it's a little bit, it takes a while to get used to the stamping because you're obviously putting the letters like backwards and upside down. It's kind of confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. Okay, and I'm trying to make sure it's lined up. Ta-da! Mary, move that to the side. Next, I am going to do Joy. My last word is going to be peace. So I'm going to slide all my dirty stamps out of the way and we'll clean those later. Okay, so now you have your embroidery hoop. You're going to loosen it up. And when you loosen it, the center comes out. And like I said, this is the four inch embroidery hoop. So now it kind of expands like this. The center pops out. And we're going to put fabric on here. So you're going to want to do is have this and see the loops underneath it, the little, the smaller hoop circled underneath it. And this is going to go over it and it's going to tighten. But we want to put one of our strips with our words on it. So I'm going to do joy on this one, but I'm going to fray the edges first. And so to fray it, you're just going to peel away some of the, the individual threads on the top and the bottom, and then you just pull them. 
Sometimes they'll break when you pull them, that's okay. You do not have to fray them if you don't want to. I just like how it makes it look a little bit more worn. Distressed looking. Okay, so that's good enough for me. So lay the smaller one. It's the smaller up here's the bigger one with the metal. Lay the small one down. Like you're gonna lay your word over it. So I'm gonna try and kind of center it like that. Then I put your big one over it. So I do kind of want the plaid to be straight on this one. It does not have to be. Perfect. Now we're going to tighten it. So you just twist this little thing and it tightens the outer hoop real tight so that it fits the smaller one and it'll stay together as one thing. Okay. So you can see how my fraying is longer in the center than the sides. It doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, you could take your scissors and just like trim it a little bit. Um, but that does not bother me. Okay, so now you have all this extra fabric on the back, and I'm just going to trim it. So I have my fabric scissors. I'm just going to cut into the fabric, and I'm just going to cut it real close to the hoop. There we have it, our first little embroidery hoop ornament. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a jute at the top to be like a little hanger. So I have this little jute twine right here. I'm gonna cut off a decent sized piece. I'm going to start by wrapping it around this little metal thing a few times to kind of cover it up, the base. Turn it over. I'm going to tie that in a knot. Okay, so now you have the twine around the metal part. It's tied in a knot in the back. And you're going to make however big of a loop that you want. So, like, that's probably big enough. And then bring it back down. I'm going to tie it in a knot again. There's already the tail down there from the last knot I did. So I'm going to use that same string that's down here from the last knot that's hanging there to tie this. And I'm going to do a double knot so it really stays in place. There it is like that. I'm going to cut these ends off and then I'm going to pull out one more piece of twine. If I can find the end it's somewhere in here and I'm going to tie a bow in the front around this little part. Now you could use um, like the stripes like red and white, green and white baker's twine for your hanger. You could do um, any kind of holiday ribbon that you want. Okay, there's our first little embroidery hook ornament says joy. Super cute. Okay, now we're going to go on and do the next ones. I'm going to do Noel next, and so I'm going to go ahead and fray it. Okay, 
Now you're gonna take the smaller hoop again. You're gonna lay your fabric over it. Lay your strip over it, the word, and tighten it. Okay, there we go. Okay guys, I just wanna show you some other options. So you can do the twine like I did on the Joy, or you could do like I have this lace. There's like red and white, um, there's the checkered. I have, it doesn't match this one really, but I have like the buffalo check, red and black. So there's all different options. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the twine hanger and then I think I'm gonna do a lace bow. So you're gonna start out by just wrapping it around the bottom, tie it in a knot, you're gonna make your loop again. And then once you have your loop the size you want, you're gonna tie a knot again to tie the hanger off so that the loop stays there. There's the hanger. Cut these. So like I said, you could do no bow and you could just leave it like that. You could do a twine bow. I kinda wanna see what a lace bow would look like. And to me, this is all about experimenting. Sometimes I have these great ideas and I do it and I'm like, huh, oh, it's not so great. I don't love it. And other times I do it and I really like it. So tie this around there. This stuff is not very stiff and so it's, you kind of got to play with it to make it look the way you want. I kind of like that actually. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the ends. So there's our Noel. I think that end is shorter. Now we have Noel and Joy. Have peace. I'm gonna go ahead and fray it. And guys, you can use any alphabet stamps. I'll link some other options on my tutorial. So just check the description of this video and there'll be a link to the tutorial on my blog and I'll have a link to all the different materials and I'll put some other stamp options in case these are out. Okay, there we have peace. The word's a little bit to the right. Okay. Let's try it again. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay, so now we're gonna tighten this up as tight as I can. Guys, you could even hot glue some twigs to the top, some little like um, greenery, berries. I might do some greenery on this one. Okay, so I have some different greenery options. Do this, the one with the pine. So let's see, this would need to be shorter. It's just too big. I'm gonna cut this one apart. So I have my little cutters right here. Thinking kind of like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it like that and then I'm gonna put twine around it to hold it in place. You could definitely hot glue it if you wanted to. If I can't get this to hold, I will do that, but I'm gonna try doing twine first. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap the twine around the pot like we've been doing with the other ones, but this time you're gonna pull it real tight to make sure it's holding the greenery on. Now, come to the back, tie a knot. Oh, that looks really cute. Okay, now we're gonna do our hanger. That's about a good size. Then bring it back. 
tie a knot like we've been doing. There's that one. And if you wanted to, you could bring it back around to the front and do a, a little bow or something with the twine. But I'm just gonna let the greenery be the only accent on the front. Okay, so so far we have the Noel, the Peace, the Joy. Slide all my extra stuff over. The table is getting very crowded. I'm not gonna use this black and white one because we already had the Joy that's black and white. So for my last one, I have the word Mary. And I'm going to fray it again. And I have this bright, colorful, more like Christmassy plaid I'm going to use. I really love this fabric. So since this one's a bolder plaid, I am going to try and get it a little bit centered. Slide it over. Tighten it up. As tight as you can. This would be a super cute little gifts to give somebody. You can personalize it however you want with their names, their family name, their kids' names, an important date like their wedding anniversary or maybe baby's um, birthday or something like that. You can even give it for Christmas so that they have it for next year. So there's the Mary. So if you wanted to, again, you could do like the lace with it would be cute. Um, I have the red and black. A little buffalo check would be kind of cute with it. Just the plain red and white. So I think I'm actually going to do just twine and then a lace bow with it. Okay, so make your hanger. And these aren't cute ornaments, but they also would just be cute hanging anywhere. On a hook, if you have like hooks in the entryway that... Like we have a little coat rack in the entryway that um, when there's not too many coats on it, I just put little cute decorations on it. So this would be a cute thing hanging on a hook, on a doorknob, um, a knob of a dresser. So I'm really weird about how I tie my bows for some reason. I don't know why. I do much better tying them upside down. So if you see me do that, that's why. Okay, we did it. Let's get them all lined up. There we go. All of our little embroidery hoop ornaments. They're so cute, super easy. I made four in less than 30 minutes, so you guys can totally do this super easy. Don't forget to look in the description below to find the link to the blog post so that you can find all the supplies that you need to make these adorable embroidery hoop ornaments. And also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. Okay, bye guys. See you soon.